I remember Amanda and I sat down at one point when we had sort of started this business and it had started to get you know quite successful, and we kind of realized like there's a lot of shit coming down the pipe if we keep going with this. And there's a lot of things that we're gonna have to face. And so we started writing a bunch of things down, like what are all the things we're afraid of that might happen? What are all the things that might go wrong? And so we started listing out things like clients might quit, right? Staff might quit. Staff might say, you know, staff might sue. Right? We've had that actually happen. Um, we might lose money. We might lose money. We might you know, waste time. We might be made fun of. We might be made fun of. We might actually be humiliated. Right? Um, there was all sorts of things we wrote down. The worst things we could, we might have legal issues. Right? We might have all sorts of issues, and we wrote all these things down, and we basically said, like, look, I mean, is what we're doing more important than any of that? And pretty much all of those things have happened, and other things, too. All of these things have happened. But when we sat down, we were kind of thinking, like, okay, if we're going to keep going with this, like, we could kind of have our business the way it is, and, and we could kind of do what we've been doing. But if we keep going down this road, we keep doing all these things, we're going to have all these things. Do we want the end result more than we care about avoiding this stuff? Do we want to win more than we want to avoid pain? And you, oh, you have to ask yourself that question because, you know, I don't look at these things as problems. I mean, I had problems come across my desk this week, especially when I'm here at this event and I'm doing it. And whenever I leave the office, you know, of course, different kinds of things happen. And, you know, I... I try not to let it bother me, sometimes it does, but whenever I take a step back and think of the bigger picture, all of this little BS is just noise, right? All the little problems that are coming in this week, all the little client that says this, all the little staff says, doesn't matter anything, right? You're not gonna remember this. Oh, you remember when that one client bitched in March of 2016? You don't remember. You don't remember because it just disappears into the sands of time. And so I constantly try to take a step outside of myself, take a step, go to the higher level, remember where I am right now, remember where I'll be in a month, remember where I'll be in a year, and remember that most of the things that we're dealing with are not that big of problems. And so I mentioned this a little bit, you know, a few days ago, that you have a sort of a stage in life where when something goes wrong, you attach it to yourself. And you think, I'm bad, I've done something wrong, or I'm not, oh, I shouldn't have done that, or oh, I, uh, I am wrong, I did do something wrong. Eventually, you have to get to the point where whenever these problems occur, you observe them outside yourself and you get curious about them. And you're like, that's interesting. That's different. Hmm, how does that work? How could I make that better? What would that look like? There is no one that is going to come in and solve all this shit for you. It's not going to be me, that's for sure. I ain't going to do it. It's not going to be your staff. It's not going to be your clients. It's not going to be your spouse. Nobody is going to do it. And I've got tons of people that help. And if people can help in some area and something, that is amazing. But if they don't, I'm going to step in and make sure that we get the result. I'm going to make sure we get the deal. I'm going to make sure we get the client. I'm going to make sure we hit the sales target. I'm going to make sure we hit the payroll, no matter what. And, and I feel like, you know, in the moments where I've taken that kind of responsibility and not slipped back into that victim mentality, which all of us live in at certain points of time, we only can, it's almost like, you know, you're underwater and you're above water and there's everybody gets dragged under sometimes, even including myself. It's just about the percentages. What percentage of time are you above water versus below? And so I've done a pretty good job of recoding, reprogramming my mind to stay above water a higher percentage than most people. And that is really what, if I think about the number one thing that has allowed me to become more successful, it's because I've raised my level of self-awareness I've raised my level of awareness of other. And once I've gotten above the water to look at myself and look at other people and say, how is this relationship going? How am I? Who am I? How can I reconstruct this entity that is Andrew into the person that I want to become and work on that and whittle on it and chip on it and chip, 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 chip. And the more moments that I can remember that I have that power and I can redesign myself, 
the better. And the more people that I get around, like I'm, I introduced you guys to this guy, Eric Schwartz, all the other people that I've known throughout the course of my life that are wildly more successful than I am, every time I get around them and you meet them and they're real people and you shake their hand and you talk to them, you remember that they're just human beings and that there's something going on. There are people in this room that are doing exactly what you want to do, that they're not using anything other than a computer and a brain. And there's no freaking secret. You just don't know it. And you haven't decided to do it. And so I had to sit down with Amanda and say, are we going to do this even though we're going to get all this shit and probably a lot worse? Do we still want to do this? And we had to make the decision. Because I can tell you right now, there are some people in this room, and I know because I've talked to you, where you want to succeed if the LinkedIn messages work, if my staff writes the right copy, if person wants to pay that price. If I get enough appointments, if this, if that, if that. I don't think that way. I will succeed even if everything gets fucked. Even if everything works against me. Even if everybody at the company quit. Even if every one of the clients left. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. And, and when you have that kind of mentality, the, the problems and the challenges that come up, they, they can be interesting, they can be curious, because it doesn't matter, because you've already decided, no matter what comes, I'm going to keep going. 